Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am diving into the world of direct attached storage or DAS for short. Now you might be wondering what's the big deal about having a DAS. Well, let me tell you. First off, having a DAS offers unparalleled convenience for managing your data. Whether you are a home lab hobbyist like myself or a professional in need of reliable backup storage, a DAS can be a game changer. In my setup, I am relying on my main server running TrueNAS to handle my primary storage needs. But for backup and additional storage capacity, a DAS is indispensable. Now let's talk about the heart of this project, the DAS enclosure. Using Fusion 360, I have designed a sleek and functional case that's perfect for housing my storage drives. After some careful planning and design work, it was time to bring this case to life using my 3D printer. With the case printed, it's time to fill it up with storage. I have opted for a combination of 1TB external drive and 8TB SATA drives for maximum flexibility and capacity. You'll get to know in later videos why I chose 1TB of external hard drive and 8TB of SATA hard drives. But for this video, to power this beast, I am using an external power supply and a handy DC splitter. For data connectivity, I have gone with SATA to USB connections, keeping things simple and versatile. One of the great things about using USB connectivity is the ability to easily plug and play across different systems. Whether I am at my main workstation or on the go, accessing my files would be way easier. While the desk sits idle, it seamlessly syncs with my main NAS, ensuring that my data is always up to date and secure. And finally, the moment of truth. With all the wires connected and the desk plugged into my backup server, I can access and manage all my drives with ease. As you can see, I am using Proxmox backup server as my main backup server. With a few simple steps there, I have formatted and integrated the DAS into my storage ecosystem, ready to handle all my backup needs like a champ. Of course, no DIY project is complete without a little attention to details. I have taken the time to tidy up the cables and label everything for easy identification. I know it is not perfect right now, but the work is in progress. And there you have it folks. With a little bit of DIY and some quality components, you too can create your own powerhouse desk solution. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the later videos where I'll show you guys how I use my desk with my Proxmox backup server and how I am syncing from TrueNets directly to this desk. Bye for now.